So, my name is Anthony Agar. Um, I'm in my second semester of my junior year in college. Um, my friend Grace, she's having me do this uh, this video thing, and I I don't know, Grace. Yeah. Why are we doing this? And how am I supposed to talk to camera? This is so stupid. Look, I I know it seems like it's not a big deal, but. This can help us understand what happened and how to move past stuff that could be holding us back. Wait, does it does it look like something's wrong? I'm, I'm fine. I feel fine. Okay, how about we do this together? Let's talk to other people first and then we'll talk about it. Okay? Okay. Look, Anthony, it's about Jen. Last month. Tragedy struck our community. We lost one of our own in a horrible event. Jennifer Agar, a vibrant student who dedicated herself to serving others, was lost. Today, a month after those events, we remember her. She was so much more than that. How do you remember her? What would you say about her? I don't know. Let's go. Well, I knew James when I first came to college, you know, he seemed like a regular guy. He liked video games and played basketball. I mean, we were actually floor mates our freshman year, and that's how I met him. But that was two years ago. You know, a lot can change in two years. Did you keep in contact with James after freshman year? Uh, yeah, occasionally. I, mean, I saw him on campus, but we sort of joined different friend groups, and he became a lot more reserved. How so? Uh, his roommate, Nick, told me that he kind of just stopped talking to him. You know, he was he was holed up in his room forever. He never came out, not even to go to class. You didn't think to try to talk to him? Try to help him? I mean, I, I thought about it, but time just kept moving, and I, I felt like I'd missed my chance. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. You mean to tell me that this guy went off on a rampage because he felt lonely? And you could have stopped him, but time kept moving on? He was your friend, man! Anthony. Hey, dude, I, I know you're upset, but you can't, like... FUCK YOU, MAN! YOU KNEW THIS WAS GONNA HAPPEN! YOU KNEW! HOW COULD YOU LIVE WITH YOURSELF, MAN? Hey, calm down, dude. I didn't do anything. Exactly! Anthony, STOP! God, son of a bitch! Well, I didn't see that coming. Sorry, Jack. Anthony! Anthony, what is going on? You can talk to me! No, Grace, I can't talk to you. You don't know what this feels like. That that guy in there, he could stop all this from happening. All of this. You can't blame Jack. He didn't know that James. Oh, no. Don't you dare say his fucking name. Not after what he did. Do you know what this feels like, Grace? I was supposed to be there for her. I was supposed to protect her. I wasn't supposed to let her face death on her own. You wanna know what I do every night? I listen to her voicemail, the last voicemail she sent me. Every night. Every night, I call my inbox and I listen to her telling me to call her back. Every goddamn night. Grace, I listen over and over and over again.
I wish I could be there for her. I wish I could just hold her in my arms and let her know that this, this pain is only temporary, you know? And that it's okay to be cold. I wish that wasn't anything, Grace. I'm sorry for the pain you've been going through. Jen was an amazing girl and I have no idea how to relate to your loss. But I feel like I've lost you. You've been in this rut for a month, Anthony. I can't even talk to you because it hurts so much to see you like this. I know it's never gonna go back to the way it was, but I just want my best friend back. Definitely get the eight ball in that pocket. Whatever, Anthony. Why do you skip cooking club this week? You never seem to go anymore. Yeah, I had a test. Chemistry? No, calc. It's pretty much the worst birthday present ever. Should have gone for the eight ball. Damn it. I'm surprised you hadn't mentioned I haven't gotten you a present yet. <sighs> I figured you'd get me back for that Christmas call last year. I actually forgot about that. Maybe I should throw this away then. Oh no, you don't have to do that. Ouch. Beaten on the first try. Here's your consolation prize. What's this? Time heals all wounds, right? Yeah. Thanks, Jen. I could really use some more time. Especially right now. I have a camera view I have to get to. All right, I'll see you tomorrow, I guess. Uh, yeah, probably. See ya. Hey, Anthony. I think you lost yourself over here. Have fun getting into your room without your ID. Let me know if you need me to come rescue you. Love ya. Bye. I 
just feel like there's nothing there for me. You know? I feel like I feel like going over there would be pointless because all I can think about is that night and how how stupid I was. You can't stay there forever, Anthony. We don't want that for you. I I want you to come back. Let's go. Wait, wait, Grace. I'm not sure about this. Huh? I know it's hard. 